Welcome to Naraisai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to explain about how to develop user defined thread in Java. So, fourth video of multi threading, I told you there are two approaches to create user defined thread. One is extends of thread one is extends of extends of java dot lang dot thread class another one is implements java dot lang dot runnable interface extends of java dot lang dot thread and implements of java dot lang dot runnable interface so in this video i am discuss how to develop user defined thread in java language observe here whatever the method whatever the method we have and whatever the block we have whatever the method we have whatever the block we have and whatever the constructor we have whatever the constructor we have everything is executing by whom executing by main thread executing by main thread if you take any method or any block or constructor everything will be executing by the main thread but what i told you what is multi threading executing multiple sub task of a main task by the multiple threads so if you want to execute any logic by the user defined thread where we need to write that is the main important point see whatever the logic we have under the method and block and constructor executing by the main thread only then which logic is executing by the user defined thread and where we need to write that logic and how to call that logic for example if you have any method like void m1 void m1 and system dot out dot println m1 method you are writing like thread dot thread dot current thread and control c control v this is m2 this is static let me write this is m2 now let me call for example let me write main who will executing this logic who will execute the main method logic main thread who will execute the main method logic main thread and who will executing who will executing m2 method logic who will executing m2 method logic check out who will executing m2 method logic again main thread now now new test of new test of new test of m1 method new test of m1 method then who will executing this m1 method logic again main everything will be executing the main only within the whatever the logic within the non static method static method non static block static block constructor everything will be executing by the main thread only then where we need to write the logic okay here one point we required where we need to write logic to execute to execute by the user defined thread point number 1 if you are calling m1 method who will executing main thread if you are calling m2 method who will executing main thread so then how to one more point how to call our own logic how to call our own logic by the user defined thread okay what is the, what are the two important points where we need to write the logic and how to call our logic by whom user defined thread now first if you want to execute any logic by the user defined thread that logic should be part of should be part of either directly or indirectly 
either directly or indirectly either directly or indirectly should be part of run method this is very important the logic must and should be part of the run method either directly or indirectly directly means what directly means what here writing logic writing logic within the run method that is directly what is indirectly writing logic writing logic within within the one method that method calling statement that method calling statement should be part of run method should be part of run method here here we need to discuss we, here we need to understand two points one is one is where we need to write the logic to executing by the user defined thread and how to call that logic how to call that logic how to call that logic okay very important so where we need to write the logic if you want to executing any logic by the user defined thread that logic must and must and should be part of that logic must and should be part of what here either directly or indirectly part of run method directly means writing the logic within the one method one method means run method indirectly means what here writing logic within the one method and calling that method from which method run method again okay so the final conclusion is if you want to execute the logic by the user defined thread that logic must and should be part of run method and first point now how our class become a thread class see main thread is one class thread is what here one class how our class how our class become a thread class how can we make how can we make our class as thread class our class as user defined thread class how can we make our class as an user defined thread class means very simple extract the functionalities extracting the functionalities extracting the functionalities from java dot lang dot thread class extracting the functionality from java dot lang dot thread class nothing but our class should be subclass of what is that java dot lang dot thread class java dot lang dot thread class so first if you want to make our class as an thread class the first duty is what here make our class as an subclass of thread class second one take one run method write the logic within that otherwise take one more method and write the logic within that method but calling from which method run method then how to call this how to call the how to call the method how to call m1 method if it is a static in this program in this program if it is a static method directly we are using name non static method first we are creating an object and calling m1 method again i am using name so if you want to call the run method if you want to call the run method are you maintaining any special way of calling or can we use directly method name or not so first if you want to make our classes and thread class first we need to take what extends of extends of thread class extends of thread class so where we need to write our logic where we need to write our logic first let me show you let me take one uh, method override method so i am going to override run method public void run method the logic which is available in the run method or part of the run method that logic only executing by the user defined thread so let me create uh, let me write run method i am writing like thread dot current thread if you want to print only name of a thread we can write what here thread dot current thread dot get name so what is this uh, whenever we writing like thread dot current thread it will print thread square bracket thread name comma thread priority comma thread group name but we don't required enter all these things we required only thread name just to go for what here add get name method 
it will give us name of the thread now this is a non static method so let me do one thing let me call that method let me call that method how can i the non static method now let me create an object test th equal to test th equal to new test test th equal to new test so th dot run method if you are calling a run method by using its name by using its method name what happen now if you are calling run method if you are calling run method by using its name who will executing that uh, run method here again main thread if you are calling m1 method m2 method m3 whatever the method you calling directly that method must and should be executing by the main thread then how can we execute run method logic by user defined thread means that's why here i am highlighting one point here i am highlighting one point what is that how to call our own logic by the user defined thread so first one make our class as an thread second one is what second one is uh, the logic should be part of what here run method and the third one is how to call the run method how to call the run method we need to call we need to call start method not run method if you want to execute the logic which we have in the if you want to execute the logic which we have in the run method by the user defined thread we should call we should call we should call start method we should call what here start method so let me execute this program then what happen main thread is executing main method task and a run method executing by the user defined thread the thread which is creating by the the first thread which is creating by the jvm that first thread name is what here thread 0 second thread name is thread 1 if you don't require that uh, name if you want to add your own name then uh, here i am writing like nit my thread name is nit yes so main method is executing by the main thread and run method is executing by the narisit thread so this is the way of developing this is the way of developing user defined thread then observe here the logic is available in the run method but am i calling run method directly yes previously i called here but who will execute in that run method main thread but if i want to execute that run method logic by the user defined thread i should call start method so what is the logic uh, available in the start method that we will see in the next video i hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe to narasati channel thank you